feel like I haven't done anything this summer. Like the amount of times that I got to sit out and just enjoy the sun was not a lot. But then I think back on all of the things that I did do just because they kind of became part of my everyday routine. Even though it didn't have anything to do with people or going out and experiencing things, there were just little things throughout my day that I feel like I'm going to miss so much when I move into a new place and live on my own. Like, I'm really going to miss the way the light comes in in my room. And you think it happens in the morning, but it's honestly the prettiest of like four o'clock. Putting my outfit out on this little bench that my stepmom picked out. I'm gonna miss being stressed and writing down my thoughts like I'm the main character in a movie. Planning out my days because without a plan, I wouldn't have anything to do. Taking walks around this neighborhood. Dreams authentically in the moment. Yeah. I met some people that I knew in high school who I wasn't really friends with. It's just weird that you're at the point where your high school acquaintances become your college close friends. It's funny how that works. I think they're kimchi, but I'm not sure. Looks so good. It literally looks like tofu scramble. I'm gonna miss being home with a family. It makes me feel like a child, but also very comforting. Belt installation. Here's the repair clinic. Yes. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Oh. Uh -huh. Now rotate the tough drive pulley to help unthread the old drive belt okay. and pull it free. Oh, there's one on so easy. Mm -hmm. With the belt in place, slide the rear pick. I feel like our belt is too short. Well, it's the same belt. Yeah, it's really tight. Mm -hmm. We did it. This is actually just the old belt. And yeah, I mean, it wasn't a crazy summer, but there is a lot to love about it. It was unique. And even if I do wish some things played out differently, I look back at it very happy because I think I really needed it. I think I was in a place where I really needed some, some growth time, just some time to like, be with myself. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Ask for what? Your to-go food. Oh, that was cute. Yeah. Okay, so if you were in a little coming of age movie and we were best friends. I'm so glad we did this. Oh, yes. <laughs> so it's the end of summer. I had a lot of goals going into summer, like making bread, seeing if I could touch my knees to my head. It's a very advanced yoga pose. You know, an endless list. There was a lot about the summer that was disappointing, like the fact that I've come to an age where summer is less of a fun three months and more of a, oh my god, I'm going to find an internship, or how do I spend my time productively? Like, when did that become a thing? I don't think one summer out of high school did I ever think, how do I make this the most productive summer possible? Never. It was never a thought in my head. I kind of just wanted to make a video relating back to my goals initially to see if I've accomplished them. And in addition to that, I wanted to force myself to get everything that maybe was a goal that I didn't get done, done. So for example, the bread making, I think I, think I gave that a shot in June. We never went back. But I'm thinking, okay, you did make it a goal. Now, let's start out with the most difficult bread, according to the internet, a croissant. And if you make vegan croissants successfully, I'm going to give myself that. I'm going to say, you accomplished the bread goal. You just skipped a bunch of steps along the way. So, yes, a day of reflection. Several days of just milking the summer. It's going to be extremely exciting, I think. Come on. I'm gonna go to private session so people don't think I'm having a crisis. taking vitamins. I went a long time as a vegan without supplementing, which is so bad. If you're going to do it the smart way, you got to make sure you're not deficient in anything. So I just took my B12. And um, breakfast, I've switched to yogurt. I'm a yogurt gal now. They're so cute. Really satisfying to eat. In experiments, there's an independent variable and a dependent variable and something else. And I need to switch up one of the factors. So I'm gonna switch up the environment and see if it helps with the outcome.
See, the issue here is this is actually the worst one I've ever done. This is one thing that I actually have stuck with and tried to work at for a very long time. Have never proven success. So even if you do make productive goals and you work at them extremely hard and you don't achieve them in the time that you have, doesn't it still feel good that you try? So. <laughs> I know, and she wanted to go. Oh, it was just. It was. Wait, but so you don't want to go out with Hallie and I tonight? I'm going out tonight? Maybe. Yeah, are you going to come? Hallie is piping up. Hello there. My dough is rising. <clears throat> in case you were wondering, my guilty pleasure in life is watching Too Hot to Handle while drinking Lemoncello LaCroix. Another update, look at this. Quick check-in. The other day I found this little bench that's through the woods and up this little hill. Yeah. I briefly touched on the fact that I drowned when I was little. I did. I was outside of a pond. We had a pond in our house in Wisconsin. And I think I saw some dog toys. And for some reason was really close to the water. And I just tried to reach one and I fell right in. Good news, I'm buoyant. Bad news, I couldn't swim at the time. So I drowned. And my mom ended up giving me CPR, and I'm all good now. I was probably supposed to have brain damage because it was like a, oh my gosh. Updates on the croissants. Kind of adorable. Okay, I think that it is important to remember that you only genuinely have what is right in front of you and yep. to cherish the people around you okay i will say like yes fake it until you make it but like but also, you can only fake it for so long until you're severely depressed yes until you realize like i like that is myself up with all of this random shit and i and hate who i am yes yep yep <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's good to put it on the eggs? It's gonna happen that way. Hey, Supermarket girl, lemongrass. Oh, I love them. So cute. What even is that? Is that a, a bee? bee. That's one eye. It's kind of a scary. Yeah. It, it is. It's like so beautiful. Just a bunch of basic gals <laughs> twirling in their natural <laughs> habitat. Maybe we're rocking six workouts in a stretch every day. Anywhere in between is love. Put those are my knees to the ground. Four inches. It's very late, but Heather and I just got done doing a little workout and I picked up some things from Whole Foods. I just met some friends at this like outdoor mall that's close to where we live. And then we ended up just, oh my God. Heather and I had plans to eat a little bit earlier, but it's a little too late for that. So we talked about making some vegan like hand rolls, essentially like a vegan sushi. I just don't have all of the right tools to make it. 
Heather's supposed to be making part two of this meal. We'll see how that goes. Hey. Mm hmm Pink. It's in the oven. It's in the oven. <laughs> what is it? Do I get to know now? No. So I'm gonna get started on these. Has a nice crunch. Sesame cauliflower. Mmm, have it. Mmm, have it. Oh, have it. <laughs> and they say I can't cook. And they say she can't cook. <laughs> we all know she can't cook, she just doesn't. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Brush your teeth. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely better than day one. It's like a, it's a cityscape. Or a virus. It's, this is Delta. Look at that flaky texture. All right, it's eight o'clock. Pool was great. Had a really good day. My family's home downstairs because it's summer themed. I don't know. I just thought we should take a trip to the old, to the old beauty guru days and watch my summer makeup tutorial video from 2012. So this is a very natural summer look. The description is: I had so much fun wearing this and getting compliments on this makeup look. Hey guys, so I'm doing a summer makeup tutorial. Um, I just finished putting on. Powder foundation, uh, Scarlet by Victoria's Secret Makeup, blush on my face, and I just finished putting on some, um, it's called Color Tattoo. I really like it because it's really pretty mint green. I chose an outfit that went with my eyeshadow, so um, if you have like a black dress, then you could do hot pink or dark blue dress. Hot pink would look good too. Okay, so it looks like I have to start with a little bit of powder foundation, just to give me a good face. I'm thinking like this, in this realm. Just really, I'm just going to be generous here. I feel like I should just go, really go all in. I'm going to take that color. The accent nails, not the accent nails. It's kind of like this shimmery um, white color and I'm just going to apply that all the way up to my brows. Then I'm going to take my favorite mascara. It's called One by One Volume Express. I think, yeah, this is by Maybelline New York. It's absolutely amazing. It works so well. I already have really long eyelashes. I genuinely don't think I really knew that this sounded that way. I think I really was just confident. And I am proud of her. Yep, you do have long eyelashes, Hallie. Uh. So here I have this just really fun, um, awesome, really cool makeup look. And you can add just a simple gloss. I'm probably just going to add lip plumper. Um, my lipstick yesterday stained my lips, so 
they're already really pink, but the, I hope the lip color will calm them down. So, there you have it. It's just a fun, really summery makeup look. And I hope you guys liked it. I enjoyed doing it. I have done this exact same makeup. And um, everybody, a lot of people have complimented me on it. So, I really hope you like it. And if you're doing this look, I would recommend Color Tattoo because it stays on um, really well. And it's really, really pigmented. I kind of should have been paid for this video. They have perfect summer colors for all different skin tones. So, um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, what a great little blast of the past. Um, <laughs> final notes, I guess. I hope you've enjoyed your summer. It was weird. Just, like, everything opening back up. Kind of this, like, universal feeling that nothing happened in the past year. I don't know if it was the same for everyone, but at least in the area that I was in, everyone kind of pretended like everything that the universe had just been through for the past 365 days plus just never happened. And it was almost like, I'm, I still need time to adjust, please. Um, and I still feel that way, just very weird. And I'm trying to figure myself out and I can't believe the summer's over before I had time to actually do that. I just imagined that three months would be enough to kind of get my head in order and it wasn't. <laughs> Honestly, I might be coming out of this more frazzled than I was going into it, but it's okay because I feel more comfortable with being frazzled. <laughs> I keep saying that word, but I do. Like I, I feel good about my stress. Not that I know how to handle it exactly, but like I know when it's coming and I know what causes it. And I also know that I spent so much time of my college career just like not being comfortable with myself. And I think it's probably because I felt like if I was myself, I wouldn't be able to, I don't know, kind of sink into the environment that I was in. But I mean, I never grew up doing that. I think by not sinking in, it just attracts so many more genuine friendships and relationships when you're just yourself. And yeah, I'm, I just, this year I don't wanna do anything that's not me. As far as relationships go, like if you're worried about going to college and not meeting people, the best thing to do this is just advice for me. I've just moved around a lot and I've had to meet so many people and I think when I think back to my younger self and like how I was able to be so embarrassingly confident even though I definitely shouldn't have been was that I don't think I ever looked at relationships from a place of like hate or fear I think if you just assume the best in people before they prove you wrong, you'll see a lot more beauty in people than you think there is. I think a lot of times when you're just used to being hurt or you go into relationships from a place of fear, it makes it really hard for other people to open up to you and also it makes it hard to meet people who aren't exactly like you and how boring would it be to just live a life and be surrounded by thoughts that reflect nothing other than the thoughts that you already think and to be surrounded by people who are exactly like you i mean you got one life so you know be a beauty guru just don't go into things being afraid that you as you is not enough because it is and I wish you the best and happy summer. I had so much fun doing this look and you'll get a lot of compliments. Goodbye.